right, I got myself a little bit of um, 550 Matrix 550 Etch Primer mixed up. I'm just going to use a brush and uh, try to cover this bare metal with it. You won't never see this anyway, so it doesn't have to be picture perfect. that dries up a little bit I'll uh, put some seam sealer on it. Pretty simple. Throw this out here. up look at that so I just brushed it on guys I'm just wanting to get a little protection on there especially around my joints where I'm going to put uh, the seam sealer um, the seam sealer says to put it on a prepped prime surface uh, instead of bare steel so that's really the main reason for 
for the uh, etch primer. And uh, oh, there we go. Just brushed it all on there and uh, we should be good to go. So we'll use some brushable seam sealer here. That kind right there. And uh, we'll put that on here as soon as it dries up a little bit. Okay, so the last thing I need to do here on this core support repair is go ahead and brush a little bit of seam sealer on this joint here where I have put these two pieces of metal back together. I'm just using an acid brush and uh, trying to push it up in there. I don't know if I really needed to do this, but I'll feel better about it. So I'll just quickly try to jam some in there. Moved it on there. I'm using this brushable seam sealer, Evercoat. Yeah, this stuff goes a long way, I'll tell you. And it sets up pretty quick. It gets a skin on it really quick. Sure, we got it up in there. Like I said, you'll never see this, I don't think. Do the back side. And that'll, that'll do it. <coughs> Make sure I clean out them holes a little bit. And I think uh, one of them here in the center it gets a clip in it, so I want to make sure we don't uh, have seam sealer in it and get it all painted and then jam a clip in it. But like I said, you probably won't even see it anyway, so. Anyway, it's just peace of mind, but uh, there we go. So that's the uh, core support repair, and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll move on. Take it easy, guys.